Hey everybody, so I just wanted to share a quick tip real quick. Um, so, you know, you, you are looking at the news or you're going on uh, various search engines um, and you find an article. So, for example, this LA Times article here, you know, got to read your coronavirus updates, right? So this one's called Why China Wildlife Ban is Not Enough to Stop Coronavirus Outbreak. So what a lot of these sites do nowadays, which drives me freaking nuts, because they think that it's own everybody. I mean, it's just, this is this is just, it's ugly. It slows things down. I can't use the site. Look, I can't even close this. Get, go to home page. Um, I don't even know what that's going to do. So basically it's saying, uh, I can't read this article. I got to give them my information, right? And it's like, this is bad for a couple of reasons. The first reason is like, why have a website, a public site, if you are indebted to subscribe to it by visiting it? You know what I mean? Like there's just, there's just other ways they could do this. Um, and secondly, it's ridiculous because everybody's just trying to harvest information and data on people. And, um, you know, I see the implications of this working in, um, information security and, you know, there are real risks. And the thing is, is that they don't prove to you that they can properly secure your information. Instead, you're just trying to go and read an article that you already saw a part of on a search engine or something, and you get presented with this, right? And um, the third reason why this is dumb is because, you know, sometimes people will just falsify the information, and a lot of times this stuff's not even enforced properly anyway. So, like, if I just hit F12 here and... I look at the source code for the page. Actually, I'll just do the uh, the full page source. Uh, I'll just right click it and hit view page source actually. And if I, I, you know, basically I can scroll down here and eventually I can see the contact, uh, uh, the content of the page. It's not in the most readable, uh, you know, fashion, but it's in here somewhere. Um, and that's why this is kind of useless. See, you can see right here, this is the, the page content. So, um, but this, nobody wants to read like this and this is just annoying and time consuming. So a quick trick is to, if you're on uh, Linux, all you gotta do is get this browser. The browser is, let me move it over here. It's called links. It's just, it's a pseudo apt install links. And all I did was just um, go to the page and links. So, um, so meaning, let me exit out links. So, see, I just, I literally just browsed to. I said links, name of the page. Look, so this is a terminal-based web browser, which, quite frankly, I think I'm just going to start using most of the time because. 90% of the time when I'm on the internet, aside from watching YouTube videos, I'm reading. So I don't really want to see all the bullshit ads and like flashy shits and all that stuff anyway. I just want to get straight to the content. Now look at this. I can go here and I could read the whole article. Okay. So, I mean, not only is it just stupid for them to do that to begin with, they don't even do it properly. It's super easy to get around it. The content of the page is there on the page anyway. So they're not even really locking it. They're, they're, their server is by policy sending your client the content. So the fact that I'm even going around this, I'm not doing anything illegal because I'm not having to break into anything. They've sent me the content already. It's like if they send you uh, a, a envelope and it says, "Don't please don't open, you know, but they actually gave you all the content in the envelope. I mean, if you open it up, you have the content. You didn't have to break in anywhere. So anyway, um, that's why I ran on that. But yeah, so links, L-Y-N-X, just pseudo apt install links and then you just links browse to this stuff and i mean it has a user manual but it's pretty easy you just you know hit up and down arrows it says what to do down here and then hit enter so that's what i do whenever i want to read these articles without that stupid nonsense